Hey guys, so as expected, Apple has officially released iOS 17.1.2 to everyone worldwide. Now, this software did not see any beta testing. This software is now officially available for everyone, and you can download it and install it on your iPhone as of today. It is also available for the iPad, so iPad OS 17.1.2 was made available for the iPad as of today, and Mac OS 14.1.2 is also available for the Mac to download as of today for everyone. Everyone. Again, this is an official software release. We were expecting Apple to release this update to address a few issues. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few details in regards to what you should do immediately after you update and what exactly is Apple looking to address with this one. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, the latest iOS 17.1.2 download is a small file. So it's anywhere from 300 to 500 megabytes of a download. So it should download to your iPhone rather quickly. And if we go into settings, we head on over into general and then the about section you can see the latest build number for iOS 17.1.2 by clicking here. There it is, 21B101. Now, Apple aims to fix a few issues and security patches with this one. But before we talk about what's new, I want to talk about a few things I recommend you do immediately after you update your iPhone to 17.1.2. A lot of users do forget to do this. The number one thing I usually recommend is jumping into settings going into general and then jumping into the about section and right here if there's a new carrier update available for you you'll get a pop-up on the center of your screen now not everyone will get a carrier update but if you do of course you want to make sure you update your carrier settings on your iphone now another thing i always recommend you do right after you update immediately you want to jump into the app store and inside of the app store it doesn't matter which device you own whether it's an iphone or an ipad you want to jump into the app store and then you want to click on the top right portion here where you see your avatar now the reason I tell you to do this is because here you want to go ahead and swipe down and refresh this page and you can see all your latest app updates available as you can see right there you want to make sure you update all your applications because sometimes developers release new apps when Apple releases a new software update for better compatibility and of course performance of these applications on the latest OS now another thing I do recommend you do for those of you having Wi-Fi issues on your iPhone I recommend you go into settings you go into your Wi-Fi networks and then you can edit here by clicking on the edit button and then it'll bring you to this screen here where you have all your networks. If you're having Wi-Fi issues, the network that you're having issues with, go ahead and remove it from the list and then reconnect to that network right after you update to iOS 17.1.2. If your Wi-Fi issues still persist, you wanna go into general, you wanna scroll down and then you wanna go into right here where it says transfer or reset iPhones and then you wanna click on reset and then reset network settings. Now keep in mind, this is a deeper reset of all Wi-Fi networks connected to your iPhone. So if you continue to have issues after reconnecting to any Wi-Fi network you may have issues with, after you go ahead and remove it from the list, then you wanna apply the recent network settings if the problem still persists. Now, for those of you having keyboard issues, you guys, some of you guys report keyboard issues, keyboard lag, I've experienced it myself. What I usually like to do, immediately after I update, I go into general right here, scroll down again into the reset options right here, and then I reset the keyboard dictionary in order to reset my keyboard as well on the latest 17.112 if you're having keyboard issues. So those things I recommend you do right after you update. So what is Apple addressing with iOS 17.1.2? So there's two security issues with WebKit that Apple is looking to address. So if we go here into the about security content of iOS 17.1.2 and iPadOS 17.1.2, by the way, same applies for the Mac 14.1.2, we see here we have two WebKit security issues. So basically, these are gonna be two security issues being passed with the latest 17.1.2. Apple made no mention of fixing any Wi-Fi issues or fixing any keyboard issues. However, if you reset those settings, this could fix some of the issues with your Wi-Fi and keyboard issues that many iPhone users continue to report. Now, Apple did implement a new Wi-Fi fix on iOS 17.2, which should be available later in December. So I'm hoping that that fix is now available on 17.1.2 as well, although Apple made no mention of that. And there you guys have it. Just a quick update, 17.1 17.2, iPad OS 17.1.2, and Mac OS 14.1.2, now available for everyone worldwide with two important security patches. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.